Today, let's discuss the differences between monostable relays and bistable relays. First, let's define our terms. A relay is an electrically operated switch which consists of a set of control terminals and a set of operating terminals. Monostable relays are also known as non-latching and bistable relays are also known as latching. For the duration of this video and for clarity, we will refer to these relays as monostable and bistable only. This is a real monostable relay and this is a graphical representation we are going to use. These are the control terminals and these are the operating terminals. This is a real bistable relay and this is a graphical representation we are going to use. These are the control terminals. Note that there are three and these are the operating terminals. Now the switches we will be using. This is a graphical representation of a single pole single throw switch or SPST. And this is a representation of a single pole double throw switch or SPDT. The switches used here will automatically return to the off position when released. This is a representation of a battery and this of a light. Also green wires to indicate that they are part of the control circuit and red wires are part of the operational circuit. Now let's look at a circuit. Here's our monostable relay circuit. We will operate this circuit using a manual SPST switch. When we turn the switch to on, the control circuit is closed, causing the relay to close the operational circuit and our light turns on. When the switch returns to the off position, the control circuit is open, causing the relay to open the operational circuit and our light turns off. Let's turn it back on for a moment and see what happens if we remove the switch and control wiring. Okay, the light is on, the switch is on. Now let's remove the control components. The light turns off. Now we can return the switch and control wiring as it was and the light turns back on. This demonstrates that the relay is not in a stable state when on because the removal of control voltage caused it to change state. This also demonstrates that the relay was stable in the off position since it reverted to that position in the absence of control voltage. This relay is only stable in one position, so we conclude that it is a monostable relay. This seems like a conclusive method, so let's repeat it with a bistable relay circuit. Okay, here is our bistable relay circuit. We will operate this circuit with a manual SPDT switch similar to the monostable example. Here, however, note that there are three terminals on the switch as well as two on positions. This will allow the switch to energize its two output terminals independently. Similarly, the bistable relay also has three control terminals. Let's operate the circuit. When we turn the switch momentarily to one of the on positions, the control circuit is closed and the relay closes the operational circuit, turning on the light. Here, however, when the switch returns to off and the control circuit is opened, the light remains on. Now, let's remove the switch and control wiring as we did in the previous example. The light remains on. When we put the control components back in place again, as they were, nothing changes. This demonstrates that the relay is in a stable state. When the switch is momentarily turned to the second on position, the control circuit is energized by the third switch terminal, energizing the third control terminal on the relay. Our light turns off. When the switch returns to the off position, the light remains off. Again, we remove the control elements and the light remains off. When we put the switch back, nothing changes. This means the relay is again in a stable state. This demonstrates two stable states and thus this is a bistable relay. In order to understand the operational differences between mono and bistable relays, let's put the two circuits side by side and operate them. Here's our monostable circuit, and here's our bistable circuit. When we momentarily turn both switches to on, the first position in the case of the SPDT switch, 
both lights turn on. As soon as the switch is returned to the off position, however, the monostable relay turns the light off, returning to its single stable position, while the bistable remains on in the first of its two stable positions. This demonstrates an operational difference. The monostable relay requires the control circuit to be energized whenever the light is on. This control current is sometimes called parasitic current draw. The bistable relay requires that the control circuit be energized only momentarily. In reality, this impulse is quite brief, typically measured in milliseconds, and is only required to change the bistable relay from one stable state to another. In our example, this turns the light on or off, which leads us to a second operational difference, being that a bistable relay requires two-way switching of the control circuit. This is demonstrated when we momentarily energize our third switch contact and turn our light off. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Questions and comments are welcome. Thank you.